A big part of the user interaction with AutoCAD is the CUI file, which defines all the various graphical elements that we interact with, things like ribbon panels and pull-down menus and quick access toolbars. Since these CUI files can become very customized over time, users can become dependent on them. So the question might become, how could you bring old CUI files forward from older releases into 2012? Well, one really easy way to do that is an oldie but goodie command that's simply called menu. We can key it in at the command line, and this will bring up a dialog box that allows us to open up customization files, or what we see in AutoCAD 2012 as CUIX formats. Now what I like to do is collect all my CUI files into a, a common directory, and I'll usually put them up in a network drive just to keep them available at various other machines. But one thing that we can do to go get an older format, or what's called a legacy CUI format, is use this file type drop down here and switch over to .cui, which is a legacy. Now what I've done here is I've brought forward a customized CUI file from AutoCAD 2008. And I'll simply go ahead and select it and open it. And by virtue of doing this via the menu command, AutoCAD is forced to recompile this. You may see some processing activity and it's not unusual to see a not responding message for a few seconds while this occurs. And then the CUI is brought forward. What we'll see here is it looks very different than AutoCAD 2012, obviously, and we'll see different workspaces, but we would expect that because this is an older CUI file. We could simply go back to our original 2012 menu file by setting our dropdown back to the CUI X format, and then we could use ACAD, which is the default one, and we'd be back just like we were before using the current version CUI file. Now one other thing that you can do is use the menu command to open a really old file format, the MNU MNS format, and this predates the CUI format entirely. Here I have a file that's actually been brought forward from AutoCAD 2002. Now I want to demonstrate something that can happen to you here. If a MNS file is brought forward from an old version and it is simply sent to you, you're not going to have access to the support files and the bitmaps and all the things that graphically will define things like toolbar buttons and those types of visible elements that you would have seen in the old menuing system. So if this happens to you, you can go ahead and select here the legacy menu type MNU MNS. You can go ahead and open the MNS file and since those support files will not be found, you're going to see much longer processing time. And at the end, you're going to get toolbars that are going to show up with undefined graphical buttons. So I'll go ahead and press open on this and we'll let it open. And then we'll see what happens after it processes. So here we see the results after processing completes of not being able to find the appropriate icons and bitmaps that define the toolbars. So the moral of the story is if you want to port forward an MNS file from a very old version of AutoCAD, you should try to open that menu file on the machine that still has that version of AutoCAD installed so that all the proper support files can be found and the CUI file can be built without the types of errors we see here.